Well, we're delighted to be back, like, and as you're probably aware, on May 18th, um, we reopened again for casual golf. And gradually through the phases, we've built up to a stage now where we have um, club competitions and open competitions. So it was a question of sort of um, making it a gradual process, getting used to adhering to the protocol, which I'm delighted to say our members are glad to do. And with them now, this it's sort of commonplace with it. They've sort of come to accept that this is how you do it. So going on that, we're at a kind of a steady stage at the moment and hoping to progress a little further. Um, obviously, yesterday was a bit of a setback with phase four delayed, but we're quite willing to um, go along with that. And if it's going to help stop the spread, we're more than delighted to cooperate. Absolutely, yeah. I suppose these are unprecedented uh, times and just see a couple of golfers out there this morning even heading off for their game and, you know, we alluded, I suppose, to any time we visit West Waterford is the, the picturesque nature of the course here as well, the facilities second to none. Well, that's another thing too, Gavin. Like, normally, as you're probably aware, our fundraising classing would take place over the Easter period, but due to circumstances and COVID-19, we had to put it back. But we're delighted to be able to stage it at this stage. As you can see for yourself, course-wise, everything is in order. We've set up um, all the measures and the G- to observe the GUI protocol and the HSE protocol to ensure people's safety. So we, in as far as you can guarantee it, we can guarantee people's safety. And I think people will be at ease going out knowing that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Absolutely. Well, uh, summed up indeed now, touching, leading in nicely, I suppose, to the Sunshine Golf Classic, which is a big event, I suppose, in your calendar every year, and uh, it all kicks off, uh, Pat, on July 25th. That's correct, Jeff. Well, our Sunshine Classic, let's face it, as it goes that I was saying, like, that in order to keep a place going, you need money. Um, we missed out on, you could say, nearly three months of competitions and that, so there was nothing coming in, really. At this stage now, we're kind of banking on our classic to raise some funds to continue with the maintenance upkeep of the course there's machinery needs replacing there's plenty of ways to spend the money if you can make it so from that point of view we're delighted to be able to do it and i also think that um by having it later in the year in july and august people are going to see the course in a different way like in march or april now trees are just starting to come back and stuff like that but again looking out here as you can see everything is in full bloom now so i think people will get a pleasant surprise when they come along they will enjoy that golf. The format is set up to be user-friendly. So once you get out there, you're in that little world of your own and hopefully our classic will go according to plan. Fingers crossed indeed. Let's hope the, the sun will stay shining as well. Runs right through then, Pat, to, to August 2nd. So plenty of opportunities there for, for people to get involved. €100 Euro entry uh, per team of four and a re-entry of €15 Euro per person. So maybe just a quick outline to listeners of, of how they can get involved. Well, that's true. Um, we're running for nine days. There are a number of reasons behind that. The main one being that there won't be any mad rush on any particular one day. People will have nine days to play it. Format-wise, it's, as I said to you, it's a user-friendly format. A team of four. Scoring setup is that you have two scores on each hole with the exception of the ninth and 18th, where three scores count. And teams can be ladies, gents, or mixed. And on top of the overall prizes, which you'll probably notice we kept at home. I mean, we're at the stage now where you need to keep the money in the country as much as possible. It used to always be a holiday abroad. But why spend money on something abroad and you can spend it on something at home? As I say, apart from the overall prizes, which you've seen there, are well worth working for, we also have nine daily prizes. So if you don't win the overall, there's always a chance you may win a daily prize at the end of it. Absolutely, a yeah, top-notch indeed. The first prize, of course, being a four-ball at the fabulous Tremoland uh, Castle Golf Club, plus uh, one night's B&B for uh, four and numerous other prizes as well. It's on your poster, which we'll, we'll put up on our website as well. And uh, there's also a best all-ladies uh, team as well. That prize as well is, is often sought, I believe. That's correct, yeah. Well, we must look after the ladies. Like, the ladies are an integral part of our club, like, and do an awful lot to support the club in different ways. So we have no problem at all in um, having somebody special for the ladies. Having said that, there's nothing to stop four ladies from winning the main prize. Absolutely, absolutely indeed. And uh, as regards people entering then, Pat, is it advice to, to check out the website or, or, you know, ring the office here, give you plenty of notice? Yeah, well, ideally we're trying to make a contactless um, booking as much okay. as possible this year in the circumstances. So you can book directly online or you can ring the office at 058 43216. 
Great stuff indeed. Yeah, I promise it to be a, a fascinating couple of days. And as you say, hopefully the weather will be kind. The scenery here is absolutely second to none. And, you know, people can come out and enjoy their golf because I suppose, you know, when people have been away for so long and I suppose it's the return of any sport, I suppose, is gradual. It's, it's great to get back out there, even from, you know, a mental health point of view and just, you know, seeing people again. It's true. Uh, we've been very lucky in that case. I think the big thing that helped us through COVID-19 and when we reopened, that nearly from the start, the weather has been endlessly good. And I mean, people are outdoors it's the best place to be it's the safest place to be it has helped us in terms of the numbers playing people can play from early morning until maybe 8, 9 o'clock in the night if they so wish whereas COVID was a downer the weather has been a good lift throughout the process mm, it has indeed absolutely and uh, I suppose I was listening to uh, Pat Murphy was on with our own Nigel Kelly last week just maybe touching on Seamus Power of course who uh, I remember meeting him here around Christmas time when he was back at the club last year had a great performance there in the uh, Rocket Mortgage Classic there recently and great to see him back on the PGA Tour back in action well that's correct like I mean Seamus is constantly trying to improve like he's always trying to um, go that one step further and I think in this case it could have been so much better, but having said that, it could have been an awful lot worse. But to finish in, in tight 12th in that company, I think, just shows that Seamus is kind of ready for a break too. It's only a matter of when it comes. Naturally, we're all delighted to see him doing that. There will be downers throughout the process, but I think Seamus is sort of, um, he, he's sort of dedicated to what he's doing. And regardless of the ups and downs, he's willing to accept that. Hopefully, the, the big day will come. Absolutely, fingers crossed indeed, and I suppose to, to do a wrap it then, Pat, you're looking forward to the Sunshine Classic kicks off July 25th, you're back in action here, you've all the protocols in place with hand sanitizers, and I suppose like a lot of clubs, um, I suppose, and the new normal as well, and uh, I know you want to talk about maybe new members as well, anyone who wants to, to join the club. Yeah, well that was one plus of the COVID, if, if you could call it a plus directly from the COVID, but an awful lot of people with their own sports like were not allowed back from the hurling, football, mm. soccer communities, there were young lads there at the time had nothing to do. A number of them came along. We were delighted to welcome them. As you know, with God clubs in general now, our membership would be an older profile, 50 plus. So we were delighted to see guys in their 20s and 30s coming in. OK, maybe it's only a stopgap for their own sports return. But at least some of them may get to like the game and hopefully will stay with us long term. But we're enjoying to facilitate them at the moment and they're enjoying what they're doing. Absolutely indeed and I know you have the posters well advertised check out uh, www.westwalfordgolf.com for further info and for bookings and uh, looking forward to the Sunshine Classic and you're, you're glad to be back I know you were back a bit earlier I suppose than everyone else but things are going well here in the club Pat then to wrap up Well they are going well like we, we, we have a very hard working committee the members have been most cooperative so anything we've set up to do we've got help with it and um as I said to you earlier on, we're at a stage where we feel confident that people come along and play safely and be safe. And once they observe the regulations, as well signed there, as you can see on the way out, that the first tee, everything will go according to plan. Lovely note to end on. Well, uh, Pat Power, many thanks for having us out uh, today and best of luck with the Sunshine Classic kicking off on July 25th and continued success to West Waterford Golf Club. Thank you, Gavin, and thank you to WLR.